and uh, what we will do is we will return from here where it is return and i will return the old first i have to check the old task list we, uh, we have to pass the uh, we have the old item position so we need to pass that not just the particular uh, the list we have to check particular the if if you go over here it check it if you want to check two items so basically we have checking the item so i need to pass the old item position over here so the uh, position of that particular item which is of equals to the check for the new item position so if these two match or not so we just have to provide this one so our class for the diff util is ready so we just have to implement on this one so how do we implement over here is uh, let's go to the app over here we will create a new function to set particularly data so i think we don't have any function that can set the data for us so let's go and uh, i think we create a new function over here so let me create a new function this is to get item okay let me create over here i think we should create over here and i'll just say a function and i'll just say a uh, set detail d e t a i set the detail and uh, here we will pass the the list so i can pass the the list so i will just say a uh, list and this should be of the list of the tax entity i'll just pass it over from here just pass it over here okay and then we will just go over here and i'll just say if so diff r e s u l t diff result which is of equals to uh, the uh, diff util diff util dot the calculate difference so i'll make sure calculate a difference and we have to provide the diff util callback so this is the callback that we have created over here tax diff util class so just provide this one and initialize it over here and here we have to provide the two list the old list and the new list so how do we provide the old list is the old list is over here the tax list so i need to convert it to the list let me remove this one and the tax list is the the old list and i need a new list new list is of the this list that we are providing so just copy this one and uh, paste it over here and I can, I think, rename this one to the new list is better. So I say the new list. Just copy and paste it over here. So we just provide here the constructor parameter, old tax list and the new tax list. We are providing it here. And then we have the diff, uh, diff result over here. And then I will just call that diff result dot i can uh, dispatch the dispatch to update and it you will take for the adapter so i'll just provide this as the adapter and i will set the m uh, we have the list right so this should be of the tax list which is of equal to i will just say a new list and error something i think so it's a val so i need to change it to val okay so that's look fine so i need to make use of set detail so what we will do is we'll go back to the home fragment and i think we are using it is it we are using in the home fragment yeah the tax adapter is over here we are where it is created tax adapter we have and uh, let's say tax adapter we are providing the tax list so i'll just provide i need to provide the tax list over here so I'll just say a uh, list of and the tax list. Here, what we are actually doing is whenever we are initializing the tax adapter, we are just passing the empty list. And then actually, when the we get the live data from the tax list, uh, the view model, we should update it. So I will just uh, clear it all of this, right, particularly. And uh, what I will do is I will make use of the adapter. So we have a what is the adapter i think the tax adapter so i think i will rename that one to m tax adapter so i will change it to m tax adapter rename it 
and then over here the m tax adapter dot set the details so i need to provide it the, the list so i will just provide the it over here i think that should be fine right so we just after that we will set up the recycle view so setup recycle view is where is that function so where is the setup recycle view uh, setup recycle view is over here okay so i need to actually also is when it is setting up uh, i think we need to provide this setup recycle view at the beginning so set up the recycle view at the beginning so first of all i'll just go and set up the recycle view over here recycle view so let's change that one is we are setting up the layout manager and recycle view and i will just say that the recycle view uh, dot apply it and inside this apply i will just make use of the, the layout manager i will just make use of the layout manager which is of equals to uh, the layout manager that we have created so i'll just rename this one too so m layout manager so here it should be of the m layout manager so later we don't get confused so this is the proper naming con convention actually and uh, after we set the layout manager i can set the set up the adapter so adap adapter so i think i changed the tax adapter right so that is the one so adapter adap adapter which is of equals to m tax adapter okay i think that should be the one that we have to set up and if i uh, if i set up the uh, i can remove that one recycle view and we are set setting that one two over here and i can just set this one i can just set this one over here and uh, pass somewhere over here i think and i need to construct this one so i just cut this one and at, after i get the recycle view i set up the tax adapter and set up the layout manager and set up the recycle view and i add the callback to the particular tax adapter so, okay that should be fine just remove that one and now i think that should be the one we are looking for and whenever we get the data from the the tax entity and we set up the the detail over here so that detail is in the tax adapter that set detail so this should utilize the diff util and calculate the differences for us and that should be good enough so let us run our application and you can see that we have successfully installed the application and it is working as perfect as previous so there is no change just we have uh, implemented the diff util which is a great way for the recycle view to update because whenever we are updating the recycle view we have to make use of a notified data database change or the data set change so whenever we call that notified data set change is a really expensive operation so if you call our notify data set change over here that is really expensive because it will go and update it, all of the data set that is whether you have 100 list thousand thousands of items so it will update all so it doesn't uh, make a changes only to the particular one but using the diff util is uh, really it makes use of the comparison between the two lists so what is we have done over here it just checks for the position whether there is some changes on the item or the content so that's a really useful and we learn uh, one of the diff util callback for our recycle view and this way it is really helpful for your recycle view if you have a lot of item because it is really efficient way of handling the your recycle view so i hope on your next project you will utilize the diff util and we have still some more to go on the diff util we'll also make use of the the another way that we previously saw about the the how to handle all of this operation in the background thread so we will be using as a list adapter and also the async list defer. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day. Hi there and uh, welcome back. And 